Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, so far, I think this girl is done. And I'm about to go on the first drive today. I've pretty much finished everything, me and my buddy. The whole Holly EFI system's completely installed. The only thing I gotta do with that now is drive it and let it learn. That's the only thing. It, it hasn't learned yet, so that's gonna be today, hopefully. I figured out the vintage air why I wasn't getting heat. That was just a total thing that we missed on my part, on our part, and everything, man, is <clears throat> it's done now. Got the car 100% completely back together. I got the gear shifter indicator on the dash working now. I said the vintage air is all working. The only thing I gotta do is uh, charge the AC, which I'll do that, <clears throat> you know, once the car is actually learning better and it running better. I got the new gas pedal. I don't know if I told you guys, actually I had to buy a new gas pedal for this thing. I got a billet low car gas pedal for it. I got a new uh, throttle cable, new throttle bracket, all that on here. She's all the way put back together. Let's see. I'll uh, open this up and let you guys get a gander under here. Hold on one minute. Look under here now. Everything's put back together. There's the new throttle bracket. The new low car throttle cable. Got the detent kick, uh, cable hooked up. Got the Holly EFI sniper kits on there. Fuel pressure regulator over there. Everything's wired up. I even got my little system installed in here now. Brakes, fluids full, power steering's full, radiator's full, train should be full. The only thing I'm a little sketchy on is we had to do some brake work on here and I've never drove the car and the one person that drove it before me, you know, they didn't have no, this thing didn't have zero brakes. So hopefully I replaced the rear uh, wheel cylinders a while back, I made a video on that and uh, the drums and all the hardware and that. So hopefully everything is good now and rebled the whole system. But yeah, man, everything is completely 100% buttoned up as good as I could get it right now. And this thing should be ready to go. I'm extremely happy. I'm extremely excited. So, I'll actually do a video of me driving in it here in a little bit. So, we'll see how that goes. You guys wish me luck. I'll actually show you underneath the car a couple more things in this same video. I'll just edit it all in. So, yeah, man. I'm ready. Little puppy dog's ready, too. Little puppy dog's ready, too. I don't know why everything was self bad out of focus just a second ago. But yep, she's, oh, I got, the exhaust is on better now. It's not crooked, it was kind of crooked before. It's all straight now and I got the tips on. Looks so, so much better. That tip is a little crooked, but it's okay. I'm perfectly content with everything. Everything's working, everything's in here good. So let's see how this first drive goes, fellas, ladies, boys and girls. I'll get back to you once I'm actually driving it and see how the EFI system's learning. I'll let you guys know. Later. Look. She's out in the wild. I have no fucking... 
driving the fucking Chevelle. Wabba, wabba. problems with the Chevelle. It just this sucks. I'll just go ahead and show you guys. Bam. Brakes wasn't working. Put new hardware on the back. <clears throat> all this and all that. Put a brand new master cylinder on it. I was thinking that might have been the issue. Well the master cylinder was bad because the brakes were going straight to the floor. Put the new master cylinder on. Brake booster completely shot so this has just been my dilemma this is the main thing right now holding me up from driving the car this was the last thing I didn't have no brakes when I took it out for a test drive and I'll give you guys a little bit of footage of the test drive on this video too just to be getting all this done today these bolts were a nightmare to get off so Yep, that's where I am with everything, man. Sorry to keep you guys in suspense. But it's getting there. Slowly but surely, it's actually getting there. Gotta wait for this EFI system to learn. You gotta be able to drive it. You gotta have brakes, you know? So, yeah. I'll give you guys an update a little bit later on. Thanks. Completely shot, stuck. And that's a new one going on today. Trying to get the car ready for a cruise this weekend. There's a big old cruise in our town. Right. Well, I got it running. I'm out here. But if you see under there, I blew a power steering line for the second time. So my thinking is them AN lines don't hold up to the power steering pressure too well or something i'm gonna go back to the house and check it out see why the power steering pump's leaking but other than that she's running really good other than another power steering problem she's all good sucks it's always something though ain't it Fresh build, I guess it can't be perfect. It's getting there. Figure out this power steering thing, I should be all right. What do you guys think though, man? A lot of hours. Got me a smoked chicken leg in there. The EFI system's learning. The vintage chair's been blowing on my feet. Got my foot on hot. Looking pretty good though, huh? Just wanted to show you guys, actually, I'm out and drove it. Out here in the area. Sucks that I'm leaking power steering fluid again. Might have to fix that. But it's okay. I gotta give you guys another uh, update once I fix this power steering line and go for another drive.